G'day, Damon here for Automotive Superstore yet again, and I have a massive mountain of 12-inch subwoofers here to go through with you, all from Sirwin Vega. And they have a wide variety all the way from an underseat solution down here through to the massive legendary stroker at the end. Let's get started with the underseat 12. So this type of designer subwoofer gives you the enclosure, the driver, and the amplifier all in one package. It's really designed to be hidden under a seat out of the way to fill in the lower octave of bass when your car's stock speaker system really is just not up to it. It's not really a solution for big heavy hitting bass like you get out of the larger drivers, but as a solution for people who really can't fit a full size subwoofer in their car, it's a great solution. Next up from that with the custom subwoofers is the XED series. So when Vegas entry level, kept to a budget, pressed steel frame, but still has niceties like the parabolic cone that can't be damaged and is ultra stiff, rubber surround with a stitched and glued surround to the cone. Next up from there is the HED series. Also at the budget end of the range, uh, it also uses a pressed steel basket, but it's a burlier design overall and has slightly higher power handling. It has a larger spider, a thicker surround for higher excursion, radial venting here and at the rear to keep the voice call nice and cool. The 12 in this range is available as a single four or dual four ohm voice call model and power handling around 200 to 250 watts RMS. Like the XED series, the HED is available as a single or dual enclosed ported box. And these look fantastic. They're a great solution if you don't want to build a box yourself. They even come with a nice grill cover and that is available as an optional extra for the HED series in the 10s and the 12s. Last but not least in the preloaded and separate woofer range is the HED Slim. And you can see it's a much lower profile woofer than the regular HED. And that means you can fit these in tight spaces like behind seats in dual cabs uh, or under a hatchback floor or a wagon or SUV floor in multiples if you like. So press steel frame on these to keep the price down again. Radial vents all the way around and a vented pole piece at the rear. Nice push terminals for your connections. And these are a dual four ohm voice coil. And again, this one is available as the raw driver or as a single in an enclosure with a nice embroidered Selwyn Vega logo on it to hide under a seat or behind a seat. That is all of the range that come in both a raw driver and an enclosure if you require. The rest of the drivers in the range are what I'd consider special use. So what do I mean by special use? It means the remaining woofers in Selwyn Vega's range, you're gonna to need to purchase or design and build your own custom enclosure for your own application. The first one in that range is the Vega, the sort of mainstay woofer. It's getting pretty serious now, you can see by this beast. Big burly cast frame with radial venting all the way around, as well as a big vent for the rear voice coil. It is dual four ohm voice coil on this model and about 400 watts of power handling. The other things that allow this to make more bass than lower models is much more excursion afforded by the big foam surround and larger spider. In the VMAX range, there is also a shallow, a more serious woofer and more power handling over the lower level shallow driver, cast frame. This one uses a neodymium magnet. So ne neodymium magnets are much more powerful than ferrite and allows them to package it nice and deep inside the basket to get the shallow design down like this. And you can do a nice tight enclosure around this. Dual four ohms and a 20 liter enclosure is probably about ideal for this driver. Next, we've got the Vega. And if you're an old school guy like me, you'll remember Serwin Vega from back in the day, the red surround. It's iconic to Serwin Vega. And this single 12 here is, it's also a dual four ohm, but it is unique because it's got only one connection. This switch here pulls out and switches around and switches between two or eight ohms. And that means as a single driver on a mono amplifier, you'd leave it in two ohms. In eight ohm mode, you could use parallel three, four, five of these as you would require to suit your amplifier. These are for a ported enclosure, around 45 litres. Last but not least is the Sirwin Vega Stroker, a legendary name in Sirwin Vega's history. And this beast, 1000 watts RMS, again, dual four ohm. It has a massive three inch, four layer wound voice coil on an aluminium former. If you want big power, big bass, this is your baby, 1000 watts RMS, it's gonna kill you in the face and rattle your mirrors. 
If you want any more help choosing the right Sirwin Vega for your application, give us a call here at, at uh, Automotive Superstore and we'll help you out choosing the right woofer and amplifier combination for your car. While you're here, like and subscribe and leave a comment while you're down there. I'll see you on the next one.